a really great game worth getting hyped up over, and for me and a lot of other people right now, that game seems to be Child of Light. Now, whether you know all about the game or you're saying Child of What, I'm gonna let you know why this RPG should be on your most anticipated list. Child of Light is a 2D fairy tale. It's a mashup of watercolor graphics, poetry for dialogue, and a very unique and well executed combat system. At its most basic level, Child of Light is a platformer which alternates between being a side scroller, complete with puzzles and exploration sitting at the forefront, and turn based combat scenarios. The most striking thing about this game in the trailers is its aesthetic. Soft colors and gorgeous character and level designs have been applied liberally and accented by a great soundtrack. The animations that we've seen so far look smooth and the various dusky purples and yellows that make up a number of the previewed landscapes seem like they would be a welcome change of pace for the gamers swathed in the urban gritty environments of recent releases like Titanfall and Diablo. Another reason you're going to want to keep an eye on this one is the clever combat system. Child of Light utilizes turn-based combat, which is rarely a bad thing, but it does so in a way that avoids overcomplication. Tactical decision making factors in, but the main thing you'll want to focus on when it comes to battles is your timing, as combat is divided up into wait time and cast time. Where each player sits in the timeline of either mode is shown in a bar at the bottom of the screen. As explained in detail by Mark Walton in his video feature on GameSpot, an interrupt mechanic where you can sabotage potentially deadly attacks as an enemy is casting is imperative to master. I'm always on the hunt for the next really good RPG and Child of Light is promising to deliver on not just aesthetics but also gameplay. Its RPG elements are a little simplified compared to games like Oblivion, but that's not at all a bad thing. You'll find all the typical RPG features like buffs, XP, weapon upgrades, and skill trees, which so far seem to be enough to keep an RPG fan satisfied without gamers needing to spend too much time thinking about maximizing their abilities and equipment and overshadowing the narrative in the process. From what we've seen, party members all have their own fairly extensive skill trees that consist of three distinctive branches for specialization. Child of Light is totally intriguing from what we've seen so far. It's a great example of what a new generation console game can deliver, both in terms of a quality game and one that's delightfully unique. Last week I told you guys about my favorite easter eggs in gaming and asked you to let me know what yours were in the comments and you delivered. Jacity said The Witcher 2 in the prologue when you find an assassin of the Assassin's Creed series dead by a destroyed hay cart wheel. That is an excellent example which very nearly made my personal cut. On YouTube Alvarez Azel said his favorite easter eggs were in GTA Vice City which had a hidden room with an actual easter egg on a plinth. Also Saints Row 2 where if you followed the arrow signs far out into the sea, a giant purple Easter bunny would surface out of the water. Good times. Balrog Bane pointed out, many people don't know this, but in GTA 4 Special Edition, there was a crazy looking clown walking around on the streets with a knife, but he very rarely appeared, so it was very hard to find him. Well, that's creepy and upsetting. As for this week, let me know if you're going to be picking up Child of Light and which game of 2014 you're most looking forward to. As for the gist, next week we will be taking a break, but I will see you again soon.